What are the biggest challenges uh, that servicers are facing in the market right now? Well, I think with the uh, hurricanes of Harvey, which we've never seen before, um, and all the you know different guidelines we have to do from the GSEs and um, for FHA loans, um, and that it's it's attacking that is something that we've never seen in in, the, in in working with all the agencies. So I, I think you're seeing all the servicers kind of pull together uh, to make sure that um, and talking to the agencies about guidelines. Well, you know what? You know, Five Star has attracted the top leaders of the servicing industry um, from all the banks, um, big non-banks. So you're going to see the industry leaders and what's on, on top of their mind. So I, I think it's very important. All right. Um, and what do you think about the Five Star Conference, just in general, your general thoughts? There's 3,000 people here. That says enough. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> all right. Now to the heart of the matter, Harvey and Irma. Um, with the level of damage, um, I mean, it's nearly unprecedented. Uh, in the immediate aftermath, do you foresee a situation where people don't return to their homes at all, and you're dealt with uh, or left dealing with, you know, abandoned properties? You know, I, I'm it's really, really glad to see that uh, the community itself in Texas, especially, is has kind of pulled together, and you see that everybody's working together in church groups and and uh, the whole community to take out the drywall, you know, get everything out of the house. So I, I think that's really positive. I, I think that uh, for some people especially, it's a, it's a little bit challenging. Um, and I think, you know, there's there's going to be some abandonment, but um, I think you're seeing all the servicers, all the agencies kind of working together um, to try to solve the situation. All right. Uh, currently HUD... Freddie Mac, Fannie Mae, FHA, they've all put the 90-day moratorium on foreclosures. Um, do you think that's enough time for borrowers to get, borrowers to get back on their feet? Um, or And do you see an extended moratorium, like in the future? I think they're already talking that 90 days to start, um, and then they're already saying look at six months up to 12 months. Uh -huh. It depends on the situation by situation. Yeah, definitely. Um, what, what do you think it's going to look like when the moratorium is over, whether, whether or not they extend it six months, 12 months, um, and you know borrowers aren't able to pay their mortgages, or if their homes are still underwater, you know, both figuratively and literally, how would that look for the industry going forward? Well, I think the industry is better prepared than it ever has been, um, you know, compared to 10 years ago, that, you know, the loss mitigation solutions and waterfalls and everything else, people know how to address that. So hopefully our, our primary thing is keep the customer in the home. Uh -huh. um, but after that, we'll go through the waterfall and, and see what other kind of loss mitigation solutions uh, we have. You know, you've talked a lot about, uh, you know, keeping customers in their home and uh, you're better prepared. Um, do you think there's anything else that uh, the industry can do to be proactive rather than reactive? We're a whole thing, and we've had a couple of meetings over the last couple of days with all the um, uh, major players. Is you know, there's there's a fine line. We can't get in if the house isn't abandoned, and we got to make sure it's abandoned before we get in. So it's it's there's a fine line there. Uh -huh. um, so I th I think that you know by having boots on the ground and doing our inspections and getting in there when we can, le you know, legally. Uh, we can help solve it, but I mean that's our big problem right now. I understand. Uh, last question: What specifically has Carrington been doing um, in response to the hurricanes? You know, I'd, we've set up, made it very easy for people to reach out to us. So you know, you know, we cease making any kind of collection calls. It's more checking on their welfare, uh -huh. letting them know they're they're you know we're there. Uh, talk to us. Let's work with us. Um, we're actually working with Hope Hope now to put boots on the ground in Houston uh -huh. where people can talk to us. So Hope Now is making a big push and we're 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 behind them on that. Great. Wes, thank you so much for your time. Yeah, I thank really you. appreciate it. Okay.